Uh, this is the um, uh, park on the far side of the mountain to the house that we're very interested in. It's a, a very, very steep park. But maybe um, we can get there through the mountain, we don't know. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like many people come, so it would be appropriate for walking the dogs, perhaps, we hope. Ah, whew, that was kind of scary. Why was that? <laughs> Why was that tanuki walking towards me? Uh, well, I come up the, uh, the the into the park, and a tanuki walked toward me. But the great thing about it is that it's right in the centre of a city. Well, it's not really a city, but as you'll notice, there's no one here. The only people are here are tanuki, who walk towards me. And uh, there's the mountains. The mount the cities end very suddenly because people don't really want to live in the mountains. I guess I'm not sure. I'm sure if it's like if you go to Hawaii, there's all these houses dotted in in mountains around the cities, but here. The last houses look like there's a there's a area over there. I'll zoom right in. The last houses will probably be people who aren't rich but are you know tilling the land or something. But anyway, in, right in the centre of the city here, it suddenly gets rather countryfied and it's got this very um, natural park with tanuki, which are raccoon dogs apparently running around. Uh, I thought it. I couldn't work out why it's walking towards me. I think it's rather old. And um, so I thought it might have rabies, but uh, rabies is very, very rare in Japan. And I'm trying to climb up this steep step with my daughter strapped to my front, which is not easy. I think I need to hold the rope. Yes, this is what I need to do. Okay, I have the rope. And now we're going to go up. Now it's difficult with one hand. <laughs> Sorry, the, the video is shaking around all over the place. And, uh, yeah. So this park is on the other side of the mountain. But there's another house on top of the mountain. What is there? A house doing on top of the mountain? That's the one I really want, maybe. No. Ah, that's the shrine, I see. There's a shrine up there. Ah, and a bamboo forest. And right at the top of the mountain is a shrine which I'll uh but oh very nice eh swings above a Japanese city and a bench benches are rare in Japan too good place to sit and uh contemplate your navel and quite wide too I think that if we had a ball we could get the dogs to run we get very dirty though on this mud I think mmm Yay! Okay, enough. I climbed over the top of the mountain, past the shrine, but it seems that I've come as far as I can go 
into a very spectacular bamboo forest. Um, once again in the centre of town but no one's here. Wow, this bamboo forest is spectacular. Um, it just comes to the end of the park. Well, no, the, all the precincts of the precincts of the um, uh, shrine. And uh, there's another peak which would I have to go over in order to get to uh, the house we're very interested in. So I don't think we can walk over the mountain to the um, to the shrine and the park, but it's nearby, so it's okay. And down there is a kind of exclusive, uh, it's difficult to see under the trees, an exclusive um, a hot spring resort, uh, very expensive. Um, I'd like to go there one day. San Siso, I think it's called, which means um, mountain water um, lodge, no, mountain water, what's a nice word for a house, residence. Okay, I'm walking back up towards the shrine, through the forest. Ah, oh, yeah, very nice place this. Feels like it's got lots of um, minus uh, ions or whatever it's called. Uh, hmm. And there's a, um, a, uh, a sacred Shinto tree with the uh, straw rope around it same straw rope that is around sumo wrestlers.